Hi guys, today I want to talk a little bit about fixed mindsets and labels. Um, saying things like, so I've, I've touched on um, that I that I, in the past I've, I've consumed too much alcohol. And I joke with people, I didn't have a drinking problem. I could drink most people under the table. I had a stopping problem. Um, but I don't wear a label. I'm not an alcoholic. I don't go to meetings. Um, I'm not degrading that or, or anything, but I don't wear labels. Because if you wear a label, like, do you own it or does it own you? I worked with somebody who was just like, man, this place is driving me nuts. This was in uh, the restaurant business. And I, and I told that person flat out, and they were my boss at the time. I said, you don't run this place. This place runs you. And the same can be said for labels. I mean, if you want to label yourself as an alcoholic, as, um, you know, something that's a, a, a limiting belief, um, you're not, you're going to have problems. Um, an example I'll give, um, of myself is, uh, when I was in the fourth grade, um, I think this was probably pre ADD, or it was during, you know, ADD, it was coming out, but um, I was in Montana, so maybe it hadn't caught up up there. Um, but I didn't get labeled with it or anything. I didn't know about it. Um, I went to therapy, you know, I, I did get bullied. I, I was, I'm a strange adult and I was a strange kid. I mean, and I got bullied for it. And, um, but I'm not a victim of being bullied. I'm not, you know, I'm not any of those labels. And it was, I mean, it was difficult. I would go to these classes in the, in the, in the fourth grade, fifth grade, I would get pulled out of class and I would go to um, this little room. I think it was on um, it was on the, the level of the fifth grade class and there was an elevator right next door. So if anybody had to go up the elevator or stairs, they would see me in there with the school psychologist. But I never wore that label. I never I never let that happen. And then later I uh, decided to get held back in the seventh grade. Um, I wasn't doing well in school and I knew I, I had fallen behind and um, but because I had, you know, I didn't pay attention or I wasn't engaged in class. I mean, clearly I'm an engaged person now, but, um, I got put into special ed. I mean, I'm, I'm in special ed, um, with kids that had down syndrome that kids that had, I mean, so I could have easily been just a victim of that, or I could just say, you know what, I, this isn't for me. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to, um, I almost failed my senior year in high school because of English class. I mean, uh, but I never, I, I didn't give up. And, and I guess that's the, the thing is don't let those labels take control of your life. Keep moving the ball forward. Learn what, um, whatever you want to call it, a shortcoming. I mean, like, um, Einstein, uh, not Einstein, excuse me. Um, Edison discovered 9,000 ways that the light bulb wouldn't work. They weren't 9,000 failures. It's just, here's 9,000 examples of, of how to not make a light bulb. And I think we, we need to look at that and, and look at ourselves. And again, I've said it in another video, you wouldn't tell a kid in a wheelchair or a kid that lost a leg or, or whatever, born with some, maybe a birth defect that they have no control over. You don't let that define them. You don't let that, you, you look at your strengths and you work on those. And, and same within the workplace. Like if you have somebody that's really good at this. Like when I was, uh, at Woody's wood fired pizza, I had a girl, she was really good at talking to people. She wasn't the fastest person on the line and neither was I, if you worked with me, but I put her up there because she was a friendly face. It was customer service. And I would always look to her and I would always say, Des, how you doing? Do you need any help? No, I got it. And I could tell by the tone of her voice if she was lying to me because she didn't, she thought I would disapprove if she was falling behind. And that's not the case at all. It was, I just wanted to make sure that you're still, treading water that you're swimming, but as soon as you feel like you're not making it, I'll come in and help. You put your aces in their places as the saying goes, but a lot of managers uh, focus on what people are doing wrong. Um, and in some cases it's like, you know what, I don't have anywhere to put you anywhere else to put you, but, uh, so we're going to have to let you go. That's a, that's a true statement. But in some cases it's, you know what, I don't think you, that this position is the best for you how do you feel about this? And, um, so in your mind as well, you've got to move beyond what you're not doing well and, and move towards it. Now, sometimes you need to know a little bit of administrative things for your business, or you need to evaluate. Like if your time's worth $50 an hour and you can get a, uh, somebody to come and clean your house for 17, well, that 
is truly using economics. Like that is leveraging your time and saying, my time's worth $50 an hour. This person charges 17. So while they're cleaning the house or, or you know, the chef's in my house for 25 an hour, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to write a business proposal for the chef, or I'm going to work on typesetting that chef's menu while they're doing my meal prep for the week. And we're going to barter for that. How are you thinking outside the box? Are you looking at what you can't do? Or are you looking at what you can do? Are you pairing your strengths with your wisdom and, and turning that into knowledge? You know, wisdom is knowing, or excuse me, knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is not putting it in fruit salad. So that's all for today. Don't wear those labels. The only labels I wear, well, this one's um, fishing hat. Uh, I got Lucky Brand shirt. I've got, you know, Eddie Bauer. Those are the only labels I wear. I don't, I don't wear, I'm not an alcoholic. I, I'm not addicted to tobacco. I, I'm not uh, a pornaholic or I don't wear labels. So I would encourage you to not do that. Don't let that define you. Don't ever let that define you. Let it be a diagnosis. And if you can get past that diagnosis, like type two diabetes, if you're not too far into it, you change up your diet, you become the hero of your own story. And that's my message. Become the hero of your own story. Thanks.